and then went down to the ships that keeled breakers forth on the godly sea, and we set up mast and sail on that swart ship, bore sheep aboard her, and our bodies also heavy with weeping, and winds from sternward bore us out onward with bellying canvas. Circes, this craft, the trim kaifed goddess. Then sat we amidships, wind jamming the tiller. Thus, with stretched sail, we went over sea till day's end. Sun to his slumber, shadows o'er all the ocean. Came we then to the bounds of deepest water, covered with close webbed mist, unpierced ever with the glitter of sun rays nor with stars stretched, nor looking back from heaven, swartest night stretched over wretched men there, the ocean flowing backward, came we then to the place aforesaid by Circe. Here did they write Perimedes and Eurylochus, and drawing sword from my hip, I dug the L-square pit in, for do we libations unto each the dead, first mead and then sweet wine, water mixed with white flour. Then prayed I many a prayer to the sickly death's heads as set in Ithaca, sterile bulls of the best for sacrifice, heaping the pyre with goods, a sheep to Theresias only, black and the bell sheep, Dark blood flowed in the fosse. Souls out of Erebus, cadaverous dead, brides of youths, and of the old who had borne much. Souls stained with recent tears, girls tender, many men upmauled with bronze lance heads, battle spoil bearing yet dreary arms. These many crowded about me with shouting, pallor upon me, cried to my men for more beasts, slaughtered the herds, sheep slain the bronze, poured ointment, cried to the gods, to Pluto the strong, and praised to Proserpine. Unsheathed the narrow sword, I set to keep off the impetuous impotent dead till I should hear Theresias. But first Elpenor came, our friend Elpenor, unburied, cast on the wide earth, limbs that we left in the house of Circe, unwept, unwrapped in sepulchres since toils urged other pitiful spirit. And I cried in hurried speech, Elpenor, how art thou come to this dark coast? Gamest thou a foot outstripping seamen? And he in heavy speech, ill fate and abundant wine, I slept in Circe's ingle. Going down the long ladder unguarded, I fell against the buttress, shattered the nape nerve, soul sought of Arnus. But thou, O king, I bid remember me unwept, unburied. Heap up mine arms, be tomb by seaboard, and inscribed, A man of no fortune, and with a name to come, And set my oar up that I swung mid fellows. And Anticlea came, whom I beat off, and then Theresius Theban, Holding his golden wand, knew me, and spoke first. A second time, why, man of ill star, facing the sunless dead in this joyless region, stand from the fosse, leave me my bloody bever for sooth's sake. And I stepped back, and he, strong with the blood, said then, Odysseus shall return through spiteful Neptune over dark sea, lose all companions. And then Anticlea came, thy quiet Divas. I mean that is Andreas Divas in Officina Wetley, 1538, out of Homer. 
and he sailed by sirens and then southward and away and unto Circe. Venerandam in the Cretans praise with the golden crown Aphrodite, Cipri monumenta sortitas, mirthful oricalci with golden girdles and breastbands, thou with dark eyelids, bearing the golden bow of Argesida, 